And new tonight, Randolph County EMS tells WXI 12 it's facing recruitment and retention issues. WXI 12's Justin Schreer is live in Randolph County with a look at what the government is doing to try to change that. Justin? Hey, Christine, good evening. Right now, Randolph County EMS has eight full-time positions they are trying to fill with paramedics. They hope new incentives will help. Randolph County EMS Captain Bradley Cooper says he's struggling to fill paramedic openings. A lot of paramedic programs didn't start a new class, so we got behind right off the bat. He says aspiring paramedics can work in the private sector and can make just as much money, if not more, than what a paramedic makes without schooling. EMS Major Bradley Beck says filling the eight openings they have is vital to making sure the ambulances are properly staffed. In August through October, we were having to shut trucks down because we didn't have enough paramedics to ride the trucks. Uh, so sometimes whenever we were supposed to have nine trucks riding the roads, uh, we only had seven or eight trucks. And this issue of recruiting and retaining EMS workers is not just a local issue. In October, the American Ambulance Association wrote a letter to congressional leaders saying that the country's EMS system is facing a crippling workforce shortage, adding in part that a recent survey of nearly 20,000 employees working at 258 EMS organizations found that overall turnover among paramedics and EMTs ranges from 20 to 30% annually. With percentages that high ambulance services face 100% turnover over a four year period, Staffing shortages compromise our ability to respond to health care emergencies, especially in rural and underserved parts of the country. But with the recent approval of new hiring and retention incentives by the Randolph County commissioners, both EMS leaders are hopeful that new medics will want to join the ranks and the current ones will stay. This includes having a $4,500 sign-on bonus for new paramedics and a $200 shift bonus for paramedics working extra shifts. You could come to Randolph County and you know you're going to actually be a paramedic. And the EMS system has also converted all 24 hour shifts to 12 hour shifts. They hope to fill those open positions soon. Live tonight in Randolph County, Justin Schreer, WXII 12 News. Back to you, Christine. All right, Justin, thank you very much. New tonight.